Fortunately, I, uh, I got to grab some glasses here to do this. Uh, <laughs> I'm not as young as a few of you. <laughs> um, all right. First, I want to take a moment to uh, extend my congrats to my fellow inductees, Katie King Crawley, Brian Burke, Dustin Brown, and Murph. Your outstanding contributions to the hockey world have left an indelible mark on our sport. Being recognized alongside such accomplished individuals is truly an honor for me. And I'm humbled to share this prestigious moment with you all. I had the honor of either playing alongside, competing with, competing against, or watching each of your careers. Your dedication, skill, and passion for the game has not only shaped the landscape of hockey, but has inspired countless others to chase their dreams. It's with immense gratitude and a profound sense of honor that I stand before you today as an inductee into the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame. As a young boy growing up in small town northern Minnesota, less than 60 miles from the hall, I was aware of its existence and amazed by the players, builders, that have their names enshrined. But at no time could I fathom that my name would be a part of that history. I was the kid who was too small. I didn't skate all that well, even though Mo might have said I was a good skater, I think he's nuts. <laughs> and if I'm being a fair evaluator of my talent, I wasn't overly skilled either. What I did have was a competitive fire and a, pa and a passion to be the best that I could be. I was also probably stubborn or naive, naive enough to not know that I was too small, not that good of a skater or overly skilled. I also had an amazing support system and people along the way that saw, saw beyond the reasons I couldn't play and saw the reasons I would. I may be the one standing here, but I can guarantee you this. This is not a journey I did on my own. The support I received throughout my career and in my life is why I'm here today. I first want to express my gratitude to my parents, John and Patrice are over here today. Your sacrifices, encouragement, and love have been the foundation upon which my dreams were built, introducing me early to every sport and activity and allowing me to choose what my path would be like. The countless hours you spent driving me to the rink, the fields, and everywhere in between. The personal time you gave up so I could play in this tournament or that tournament. The emotional support when I would come home from a loss and probably not be the easiest person to deal with. The supporting my decisions on, on a path that may have gone a little different than was the original plan. Mom, you allowing me to be a tad superstitious and make my omelet for me on game days. Or there with a hug when I came home after a disappointing game. Dad, the words of wisdom I still think of in my head today, there is no substitute for hard work. I always felt your guys' unconditional love and support, and for that I am so grateful. I am not standing here today without you too and all that you sacrificed for me. To my brothers, Shane, Ryan, and Matt, who all came here today with their families and their, their wonderful wives, Our friendly and not so friendly competition is the beginning of all of our competitiveness, which is still alive and well till this day. Thank you for your support throughout the, and the unbreakable bond that comes with being part of our family. Your support has been unwavering, and I'm grateful to have you by my side. You've all been there through the highs and the lows. You're an amazing group of men, and I'm very proud and thankful to have you in my life. Youth hockey in Minnesota, especially in small town northern Minnesota, doesn't happen without the countless number of volunteers. From my youth coach, coaches, Don Limeron, Sherm Lehmantinen, to the Zamboni drivers, concession stand workers, referees, and numerous others, thank you for making possible for myself and countless number of kids to have access to playing our great game. To my high school coach, Tom McFarlane, your belief in, my, in your belief in me as a player, 
willingness to push me to be the best version of myself, never allowing me to take the easy way out, teaching us lessons on respect and work ethic. These stayed with me throughout my entire career. To this day, I'm extremely careful not to move during the national anthem as this was a rule of ours that we even practiced. Bob Ganey, Les Jackson, Craig Button, Ken Hitchcock, and the entire Dallas Stars organization, thank you for believing me and giving me a chance to prove that I could play in the National Hockey League. To my teammates in Dallas, thank you for teaching me what it meant to be a professional, how to demand the most of yourself and strive for excellence each day. Lou, the entire New Jersey organization, Thank you for allowing me to continue to grow as a player and support my family as we transition to a new life. I will always remember the, your words, Lou. We just need you to be you. This was something I needed to hear at that time, at a point in your career after being traded where you're doubting yourself. You're doubting your ability and questioning where you are. This gave me the confidence to be myself and to value myself again as a player. For that, I'm internally grateful. Doug Armstrong and the St. Louis Brews, thank you for trusting me as a leader to help instill some of what I was taught by the great leaders in both Dallas and New Jersey to a young St. Louis organization on the brink of turning the corner. Feeling, that way, or feeling valued in that way at the end of my career meant more than you know. Don, Cam, Charlie, all my Boston colleagues that are here today, Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be on a team again, to continue to compete for the championships and be part of our great game. Your friendships and willingness to push me in my second career has not only been greatly appreciated, but it's truly been an honor to work with all of you. USA Hockey, one of the greatest honors you can have as a player is to play for your country on the international stage. I was fortunate to be included in that a number of times, and each time it was a wonderful experience in its own way. Thank you for providing these experiences and continuing to work to make our game accessible to everyone. Ron Wilson, I don't think it was a coincidence that you were a coach of three of those things I was on. When a, player, when a coach likes you, take advantage of it, players. <laughs> Being named captain of the 2010 team is one of my greatest individual honors, and I can't thank you enough Brian, Ron, Lou, and the staff that selected me for that. I've been truly blessed to have a lot of wonderful teammates, coaches, and support staff throughout, and could not make this speech, could not make this speech in less than a full hour if I were to thank them all. <laughs> but we were supposed to go 10 minutes, even though Brian went way over it, and <laughs> I'm just going to talk about a couple of them. Jay, you're here. Zach Parisi, who was unable to make it. Two of my greatest teammates in New Jersey. Your energy and passion for the game re-energized my career when I got to New Jersey. Your work ethic and dedication to the game was a pleasure to watch, and I thank you for your continued friendship. Joe. My line mate, my roommate, my mentor, and one of my dearest friends. It's always been someone I've truly admired. Not only in the way you played the game, but the way you carry yourself off the ice. Your friendship means the world to me, and I can't thank you enough for all your support. In the post-career chapter, the importance of a strong support network becomes even more apparent. Kevin and Steve, You've been pillars of strength during this transition. Your guidance and friendship transcends the boundaries of the game. Your wisdom and ability to hear what I'm saying and give feedback that is not only constructive, but honest in what I need to hear, maybe not just what I want to hear. Your friendship and support have been huge for me, and I can't thank you enough for taking the time to be out here today. To my wonderful wife, Elizabeth, We've been on this journey together for quite a while now. 
Dating back to junior hockey days, when you didn't know what offside was, understand why they would try to hit me into the wall. From the beginning, you've supported me so that I could chase my dream, showing complete selflessness, telling me I'd be crazy to not jump on the plane to go to Nagano for the Olympics, despite being nine months pregnant. Moving around the country with three kids in tow, even after just giving birth to our youngest. <laughs> continually supporting me throughout the difficult times during my career and loving and supporting me after my career when I wasn't my best self. Your ability to raise our children and support them as they chase their dreams is truly remarkable. I'm so blessed to have you in my life these last 26 years and look forward to our journey together the rest of the way. My beautiful daughter, Lane. Thank you for waiting until I got back from Nagato to, get, to be born. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of the young woman you are, your competitive spirit, and ability to push me to be a better version of myself every day, your willingness to lean into the uncomfortable and never settle for anything less than you deserve. It's inspiring to me. To my son, Landon, thank you for being you. Your free spirit and willingness to chase your own paths are truly amazing. I love your big heart and compassion. You've always pushed the edges, whether it's with playing hockey or with your music, and continue to show me how to be comfortable in my own skin. I love that about you, and I'm so proud of the man you are. And to my son, Mason, although, my, although you might be bigger than me now, <laughs> you'll always be our little baby your willingness to push yourself to the highest, whether it's aiming high academically, goes to Harvard there with Teddy, in case no one missed it. <laughs> Proud Papa moment. I did tell him I uh, turned Harvard down, but it's all right. <laughs> I'm amazed by your determination and sacrifice to try and accomplish your goals. Your presence is a joy to everyone you meet, and I can't be prouder of the young man you are. This journey has been a family affair, and each one of you has played a major role in shaping not only my career, but also the person I am today. To my parents, my brother, Elizabeth, Lane, Landon, and Mason, thank you for being the heart and soul of this adventure. Your sacrifices, your support, and your unconditional love have given me career purpose. And show me what is truly important in life. We've ridden the wave of some amazing highs, but also experienced some deep lows. But together we've come through it and for that, I feel truly blessed. To everyone here today, and to the hockey community and fans who have been with me and the rest of us all through these journeys, thank you for this incredible honor. I am really excited to continue contributing to the legacy of this great sport. Let's keep the spirit of hockey alive and thriving for generations to come. Thank you. Thank you.